Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at Lyft on the daily time frame using technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. If you like these videos, go to my website, sign up, or click down here in the bottom right-hand corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, guys, so we had 66.76 in there for a little bit of support once we made this high pivot here, and this seems to be holding at this point. The $70 even number as well. I think that was the IPO price, but at this point, I don't care. Next area of support will be 60 55.14, then I'd go with the even number of 50, and then 44.50, 33.85, 22.23, if we go down that low. A big part of this trade will be the SPY, the Qs, and the indexes, guys. Those keep grinding. This has a pretty good chance of grinding with it. If the Qs and everything give it up and start to slide, this will probably continue down. Um, if we do break the 66.76 area, watch for... 65 then 60 and then the 55 14 all right if we go down sideways to keep consolidating in this choppy manner below you know in this lower range below this about the 70 dollars or below then i think we're setting up for lower prices this is an ipo this could go straight up from here or it could go straight down from here it's a 50 50 shot on these guys already you know on stock twits i was saying a lot of bag holders are already buying this thing already in just be careful ipos don't all go straight up. Some, in fact, go straight down. So if you take positions in this one, just lighter positions. If you want to do a $10,000 position, great. Start with two grand, two grand, two grand, two grand, two grand. Get your average price around 50 and then hold on for dear life. I have no idea what this thing's going to bring. All I know is that the mathematical numbers are holding at this point. And uh, we'll see what we get on uh tomorrow's close and then friday the weekly close if we do get below the 66.76 the selling could be on for lower prices again it's an ipo it could go straight up tomorrow on news it could go straight down just make sure your position size is on the smaller side and then uh, a little bit easier to manage and easier to manage your emotions because i mean if you're in this thing from 84 85 83 area and you're loading the house margin right now. It's you're, you're emotional. You're like, oh my gosh, this thing's not going anywhere. So, um, if you are in too big of a position, this area has to hold. Markets sell, it's going lower. Markets go uh, higher. This will probably grind. But then you're looking for gap fill, gap window. You got to get above this area, and then possibly for another run. All right. I I don't know, guys. IPOs four days on the charts. I'm just following these couple areas that I've uh, mathematically figured out. As soon as we made this pivot, I started doing my math, guys. This was the next area, and it came right to it. Pretty, pretty amazing stuff, this chart. So, All right, guys, thanks again for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe down here in the bottom right-hand corner. And uh, let's see what the market gives us in the next couple of days. Going into earnings, huge, and going into the jobs number, which is huge as well. We could gap up. We could gap down. Who knows what it's going to bring, but we're going to try to trade each and every day at uh, stockbookie.com, try to make money here in these markets. All right, guys, thanks again. God bless. See you on the charts.